My name's Derek Brown. I'm one of the senior officers at the Royal College of Nursing and I wanted to welcome you to your start of your, your nursing course and welcome you to the presentation by the Royal College of Nursing and as we go through the presentation you'll notice that there's a QR code that's included on every page or close to every page that's the little fuzzy box in one of the corners and that will take you through to the joining page for the RCN and there'll also be some information tagged as a, a URL that you can click on or type into your phones or laptops and that will take you straight through to the web page to join up as an RCN member which hopefully will will get you on board today and get the benefits of being in the RCN. So the immediate question you're going to have is why would I want to join the RCN? Who are we? What do we do? Um, why join the RCN? Well one of the reasons for joining is, is, is included in this presentation but as an added perk if you sign up today you will also have the benefit of a goodie bag that we'll be able to send out to you and all the benefits that we talk through today will be available to you straight away after you join so it's worth taking advantage of and at the costs that we um we, we ask students to pay it's a very minimal cost and and a really a huge benefit to your studies and your professional lives when you do qualify in nursing so the rcn the Royal College of Nursing is the voice of nursing in the UK. The RCM represents nursing and nurses and promotes excellence in practice and shapes health policies. That's our reason for being, that's why we're here, and that's what we want to get you involved with as well. We're the world's largest nursing specific trade union and professional body, and this makes us unique. We represent and support around 450,000 members in the UK and more than 25,000 members in Wales alone. So we're a really, really strong voice when it comes to representing nursing and the profession more broadly. So th what makes us unique from, from um, other organisations that you'll hear from today is that we're both a trade union and a professional body. So if you've never had a contact with a trade union before, a trade union is an organised group of workers to collectively use their strength to have a voice in the workplace. Through a union, uh, workers have a right to impact on wages, hours worked, benefits, workplace health and safety issues, job training and other work related issues. And my role in the RCN is working for the employment relations team. So this, this is the, my day to day is being involved in supporting members with workplace issues. And it's, it's important to have that, that representation, that support whenever issues crop up. So the trade union protects and improves the working conditions of members. It campaigns on issues which affect the nursing community and also offers indemnity and expert representation and that includes access to the largest legal team of any trade union in the UK. So a professional body which is the other aspect of the RCN that makes us unique is that it's a non-profit organisation that seeks to further a particular profession, supports the interests of individuals engaged in the profession and the RCN carries out work on nursing standards, education and practice again which is key at this time when you're just starting your studies to have a voice in that aspect of, of the profession. So we represent you as students and we'll represent you if you're working in a secondary role as a healthcare support worker at the moment. The RCN will be able to provide advice and support if there's any university issues be that disciplinary issues in the university or be that clinical issues that you need advice on. And we'll also cover you and advise and represent you if you're working as a healthcare support worker. Again, that's a, a function that we offer that a lot of the other trade unions won't be able to offer you today. So my advice is if you if you are um, signing up as a student member, you can cancel your healthcare support worker membership and take advantage of the discounts and still have the full benefits as a student member. So most nurses are members of the RCN. As I said, we, we have got a really strong voice of community and a strong voice in the workplace, and it's reinforced through our reps and student ambassadors. So the student ambassador role is something that we, we'd be keen for you to, to get involved with, and please do get in touch with us directly if you are interested in becoming a student ambassador. It's a way of, of championing the voice of students in the RCN and really making sure that you as a peer group have uh, an influence on policy and, and nursing practice moving forward. So it's key in signposting your fellow uh, fellow students to relevant information within the RCN and external to the RCN. It's 
a really useful role for connecting to campaigning issues and also in positioning yourself to influence policymakers and the future of nursing. It also looks really good on your CV. So I'd encourage you, you know, if you if you are interested, get in touch. We can get you signed up. We can get you supported through that role and it will stand you in good stead moving forward, be that whilst you're a student or developing into a, a rep when you qualify and, and move into your professional careers. So why join the RCN? As I've said previously, we are um, a specific trade union that offers the unique aspects of being a trade union and a professional association. We have the library services, which I'll, I'll come on to in a second. My colleague Vicky will come in with regards to the real benefits that the library services in the RCN can offer. We'll support you throughout your practice placements. We'll offer one-to-one -one career coaching and online resources. You'll have access to the student money guide and financial advice. You'll have access to accredited counselling services through the RCN. You'll also have the benefit of access to 35 professional forums. We will be able to get support and advice from peer groups and other professional colleagues. You'll have access to RCN Extra and, as we said previously, access to the largest legal team of any union in the UK. What's going to happen soon as well is that you'll have access to a dedicated app that students will have be, and be able to use. This is launching in September 2020, so very soon. Keep your ears to the ground with this um, and you'll be able to learn more about the RCN, the membership benefits, um, information about books and journals that you can access and also about specific nursing topics and information. So hoping that's going to roll out very quickly and, and you'll be one of the first groups who will have access to that. So it's an added benefit that you'll have this year. So one of the, the real perks as well is RCN Extra. This is a bit like a, a nectar scheme in a sense. So you can get discounts on things like cinema tickets, laptops, uh, mobile contracts. You can save on your weekly shopping and, and you collect points as you use it more. So again, it's a, a real a real perk of, of, of the RCN and something to take advantage of, especially while you are training. Money is a bit tight. It, it's worthwhile getting any discounts that are available. So if you were ever needing support from the RCN, um, we've got a frontline access, which is called RCN Direct. And this is our, our telephone support service and the call centers manned from 8.30 to 8.30, 365 days a year. It's there to provide information and support and signpost you to services that the RCN has available. So please do um, jot down the number um, and, and obviously do um, make a point of contact with RCN Direct. If there's ever any questions, ever any need for support, they're excellent. They'll be able to give you initial advice and obviously signpost you as is required. So the help with and support through clinical placements is something we've discussed. We'll be able to look to represent you and support you, um, be that as a student or as a healthcare support worker. And that can be um, working in any setting. So it's important to bear that in mind. This isn't just an NHS um, support. It's it's through the independent sector and any other any other sector that you, you're working in currently. So we'd provide advice and guidance and funding um, through the student money guide that we've mentioned. Um, that will be contained within the goodie bags that we'll be able to send out to you if you sign up today. And the other aspect of the RCN is the, the charitable wing of the RCN, which is called the RCN Foundation. And in circumstance where you are finding that finances are tight, there is opportunity to discuss that with the RCN Foundation and look for some further financial support. So just a screenshot of, of a, a page from the website to show you. This is an example of some of the member support services that that are included. So by no means an exhaustive list, but just a starting point. We've got career services, counselling, immigration, Lamplight, which offers financial advice to you. We've got peer support services and the welfare services, which offer advice and support with regards to accessing benefits and tax rebates. It's, it's an excellent and really insightful service to, to take advantage of. So just continuing what we've mentioned before around the RCN, having the largest legal team of any trade union, um, we offer advice on any matter of uh, employment, personal injury, regulatory law, um, which occurs at the, as, as, a, as, as a course of your employment as a HCA or a student. Um, the, the legal services are an invaluable resource and, and, and a real perk of being in the RCN. 
Um, you can also access a half hour of free legal advice for your family as well. So um, again, it doesn't have to be yourself that's that's having that access. It's, it can be a third party advice and that's a, an added perk that's available. So the RCN, um, just as an example of, of some of the successes the legal team have had, um, work with the NMC and if you if you have a look at the, the pie charts here, it's just a quick reference to show um, uh, for members that that didn't have RCM representation, um, there was a 10% a, a chance of having no sanction. For those that did have RCM representation, that dramatically increased to 34% when they had to face and have a hearing with the NMC. It's a, a, a very simple way of looking at that, but it's a clear indication of some of the, the real benefits that members have had in having that legal representation when it comes to dealing with the NMC. So I'll now hand over to my colleague Vicky, who's going to pick up the library services and the real benefits you can gain from, from uh, having access to the library services in the RCN. Great, thank you Derek and welcome everyone to your first week at university as nursing students, which is so exciting. I love meeting all of you. I'm really sad that I can't be with you in person, but unfortunately global events have taken over. So I'm here to tell you not only about what the Royal College of Nursing Library can do for you, but also about the fact that we can do so much for you online and virtually, that even though we can't meet face to face, I'm still here for you. So I'm Vicky, I'm the Information Specialist at the Royal College of Nursing in Wales, and I can translate that, it means I'm your librarian. I can also say that everything Derek's just told you about the trade union aspect of things, I really hope that you're never going to need our support in the workplace, that your studies and careers fly through without problems. But I can totally promise you that I would be delighted to speak with every single one of you to give you support in your studies over the next three years and then beyond as you go off into your career. Can I have the next slide please, Derek? Thank you. So here are some of the benefits to students. We've got over 1100 full text electronic journals available for you, access to over 30,000 ebooks, reports, dissertations. We've got all the key nursing databases that you're going to need. And if you're not even sure what a database or an ebook or an e-journal is, that's absolutely fine. That's why I'm here to help you translate all of this. There's a web chat service. We are able to offer you one-to-one -one or group training online. So you still get to look at my face, just not in person. We can post books to you at your home and we also offer online renewals for you. So as far as possible, everything is available to you online. Libraries are no longer about physical space. It's all about us helping you access the wealth of information that's out there on the web. Next slide, please. So in short, keep calm and ask a librarian. So if you need help, you're having an essay crisis, you're stuck, that's my job, that's why I'm here. Come and ask me, there are no silly questions. Ask me anything. I always say we know a lot more than Google. And of course, I don't know all of those gazillion facts out there, but what I do know is which of them you can trust, which of them are going to be relevant to your research, to your studies, or to your patients in the future. So one of the jobs of librarians is to help you find information that you need in the way that's the most accessible, current and relevant for you. There's so much information out there. We've all seen it. You type diabetes into a search engine and about three million results come up. That's no good to anyone, let alone a student trying to write their assignments. So that's my job to come in, help you refine your questions and work out what information you need. Next slide, please, Derek. So I'm very excited about this picture because that actually is a picture of our library web page. So virtual offer, I've already covered little bits of this. We've got a web chat service so you can get answers in a hurry. The online training with a librarian one to one or if you prefer, we can do group training now as well. We've got online subject guides on all the key nursing topics, including introductions to using the library and to carrying out research. We've got our own YouTube channel so you can watch one of my colleagues talk you through how to use a database, use our library website, 
all that kind of useful information. We're also running again in this new world we find ourselves free online exhibitions and well-being events. It's so important at the moment. So things like singing, drawing, meditation. And if you follow us on Twitter or Instagram, it's the same handle for both at RCN Libraries, you can find out more about that. And I know that we've already plugged the QR code. You can see it there in the corner of your screen. If you scan that and join the Royal College of Nursing today, you will have immediate access to Europe's largest nursing library. And so all of these online information services are available to you immediately. Next slide, please, Derek. And there we go, just to round off, that's a photo of the actual library with some real actual students and their real actual coffee and research in there. I can't wait for the day when I get to welcome you into the library. But for now, we are here to help you when and where you need us. So that's our email address and our phone number, please get in touch with me however is easiest for you and I will be delighted to help you through the next few years of your studies and beyond. So thank you for listening and now I'm going to hand back over to Derek for the rest of the presentation. Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks Vicky, that's much appreciated. Do take advantage, the library is a really invaluable resource, be it when you're studying as a student or when you're qualified as a professional and we take advantage of it as members of staff as well. So it is a resource that's really, really worth worth making a part of your day to day if, uh, if you are to become a member. And, and just talking about that, this is the cost of becoming a member. It's all the membership benefits we talked through today are just £10 a year. So it's just 84 pence a month when you pay by direct debit. So it's worth really worth, worth taking advantage of. And as I said at the start, you'll get one of our goodie bags, which is, um, as, as you can see on screen, it's one of these blue bags that's made from 100% recyclable material. It contains a welcome leaflet, a fob watch, a pen. It's got student crib cards that we'll come on to in a sec. Um, they're really invaluable little pocket sized bits of information. And you'll also be entered into a raffle to win an Amazon Fire. And um, hopefully we'll get that out to you as soon as possible but uh, if you join today the bags will be sent out in the post directly to you so um, something to really take advantage of. The pocket guides contain really really useful information when you're on the wards when you're on your placements and um, so as you can see from the, the screenshot here there's information about sepsis, there's information about, um, about patients having capacity, there's um, obviously all kinds of information with regards to um, measurements, blood results, uh, BMIs, it, it's really worth taking advantage of and, and something that other staff will nab from you as well, these do get taken, so it's worthwhile, keep it close to you, use it to your advantage while you're on your placements and, and do, do sign up today and, and get a copy of that. And I say all for 84 pence a month, which is well worthwhile taking advantage of. So just some um, some quotes from students and um, these are um, a, a, a few that just stand out for why people have joined the RCN. So the first one says, I don't understand why some nurses join other unions because other unions don't understand nurses. The next one says it, it's uh, it, it has given me the opportunity to develop myself as a student nurse and has helped me prepare for my future career in a highly skilled profession of nursing. And the third one, which I know Vicky's particularly proud of, um, says we are told uh, we were told by the lecture uh, our next assignments on literature review. And I said, you know who I need to go and see It's the RCN Wales Library. And I just have to pop in there, Derek, to say that Amin, who's been a regular in the library through his studies, um, actually got first on his literature review. So not trying to take any of the credit there, but just to emphasise that the more you use all the facilities and resources we have available to you, hopefully the easier your life is going to be for the next three years. So make like Amin and come to the library. <sighs> So just coming to the, towards the end of the presentation, we wanted to include um, some of the points of contact for you. So as well as RCN Direct, uh, which we gave the number for before, um, these are the two offices that we have in Wales. So there's the Cardiff office where the, the library is based, and that's the address there, and the North Wales office um, up in Coin Bay. Um, so again, if there's um, any, any sort of concerns, any queries, you can get in touch and do get in touch directly and do sign up if, if you ever need to, to get those contact details in the future, RCN Direct will be able to, 
to point you in the right direction there. That's no, no problem at all. So just to come back to the slide we started on, um, hopefully we've we've talked through the the aspects of the RCM we'd, we'd like you to take advantage of today. So that's the union and the professional body aspects and, and obviously the, the perks that come with joining the RCN. Um, what we wanted to do um, just as a conclusion to today's presentation was just go through a few uh, frequently asked questions which we've had posed to us when we've put this presentation to other universities and um, it's been helpful just to just to help in, in pointing people in the right direction if they had any queries. So I'll um, I'll ask Vicky to come back in on some of these because they do relate to the, the library services. So the first question which, which I'll come to is is one that often comes up and it's how many books can I get out of the library at the same time and how long can I have them for? That is an excellent question. Thank you, Derek. You can have up to eight books out at any time. That includes physical and ebooks. Physical books have four week loans, which you can then renew either yourself online or you can drop me an email, phone me, write me a postcard and we'll sort that out for you. Ebooks have shorter loan periods but then you can go on and borrow them yourself again. And of course, with the ebooks, you don't need to worry about remembering to return them. It just all happens automatically. Actually, Derek, while I'm talking, um, I was just thinking that one of the other questions I often get asked is what's the difference between the Royal College of Nursing Library and the university libraries? You know, why should we use one and not the other? To which the answer is you should use both. We're not designed to be in competition, we're designed to complement. So some of the things that we can do a little bit differently is that we have the time to offer one-to-one -one training with people or group workshops. We sometimes have slightly different items in stock. Um, we also offer additional databases such as the British Nursing Index, which some of the universities don't. But importantly, it's all another way of saving you money. So if there's a book that you can't access through your uni library, come and check ours. We've probably got it in. So yes, use two libraries and imagine how well you're going to do. So back over to you, Derek. Thank you. Brilliant. Oh, thank you. So the, the other question that often crops up is what happens if I don't join a union and uh, unfortunately, if you don't join, you'll not be covered. And if there is a problem that arises and you join afterwards, we can't help with that particular problem. So the message from today is it is important that you join a trade union. And I'm conscious you'll have present presentations from other trade unions. Um, I like to think the RCN is the best. I think we've, we have a really unique selling point in the services that we offer both from the library services and from the aspects of representing both the professional body and as a trade union when it comes to, to supporting members. So I'd really encourage you to sign up and, and just make sure that you do have some support in the workplace. Um, other questions that crop up is, um, does the student membership cover me to work as a healthcare support worker? Hopefully we covered this in the presentation, but it's a question we often get asked. And yes, uh, you, your student membership covers you to work as a healthcare support worker. So again, take advantage of the discounted rates and, and the full benefits that come with that. And the, the, the logical question that leads on from that is what happens when I qualify with membership? Well, you'll be contacted by RCN Direct when you qualify and you'll be asked if you're happy to carry on with your membership. Um, your membership will be half price then for the first year in which you qualify. So that'll be £8.20 for the first year and it will increase then to £16.40 for the following year. And as an RCM member, you can claim tax relief on your membership. So you can save up to £19.69 first year and a, a quite a, a substantial amount in the second year when you're paying the full amount, which is up to £39.37. pence. So again, worth taking advantage of, of that tax relief for your subscriptions to the RCN. Um, some other questions that we've, we've been asked is, um, obviously, why should I sign up today is an obvious question. And, and the reason for signing up today is that you get the full benefits straight away. You get all the things we talked about, all the access, all the, the, the benefits of the, being a member straight away as soon as you click on that sign up button and as soon as you, you're part of the RCN, you can have access to those. So again, it's really easy to sign up really quick. Just take advantage. Um, 
one of the questions that we got asked frequent, uh, frequently was in relation to um, the app that we mentioned earlier. One obvious question is, can I get sacked for using my phone on the ward? And, and what we'd respond to that is, it's always best to not use your phone when you're on a clinical placement and on the ward particularly. And it's better to wait until you break and, and obviously access that information safely. What we'd encourage you to do is, is use the pocket guide that will come with your membership pack today. Take advantage of that, use those resources and, and obviously don't get yourself into to any hot water by by complicating things in, in using a, a mobile phone when you're on the wards and when you're on your placements. It's better to stay safe and, and just to, to, to limit those risks. So from from my point of view, hopefully we've 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 really gone through the benefits of joining the RCN. Um, I hope you have every success in your training and every success in the next few years whilst you're studying with the university. Do take advantage if you have any queries get in touch, let your tutor know and they can they can flag any questions to us after today. And I'd wish you the best of luck and do join the RCN. Thank you. Yeah, good luck everyone. Bye bye.